Greetings everyone. In this video I will show you how to create a portfolio in live text as well as add content to your portfolio. The content that you add to your portfolio are called common assessments and common assessments for LA318 are MTTS7, MTTS4, and MTTS123. In other classes they will not be called MTTS because you'll be addressing different standards. For example in math you'll address a specific standard for math and that particular activity would go in your portfolio. So to get started you just need to go to documents and once you get here you want to find the word new and you want to select new. Now you should know that if you have a portfolio you do not need to create a new one you just keep using your existing one. But if you don't have a folder you want to go to this folder section and then make sure you're under Salisbury and choose portfolios then you want to go to template and you're going to choose a template now the template depends on your major if you're a double major you select here if you're early childhood you select here and then if you're elementary you select here so once you select your portfolio you'll notice that it shows up on the, on the right and if you scroll through it you'll see something for science for math for social studies for the arts and that's 317 um, this is your health class you took and if you keep scrolling down these items will be covered in different courses and then if I scroll all the way to the bottom you'll see the Maryland teacher technology standards so these are the standards that you've been addressing in some of your assignments so the next thing I'll do is show you how to add something to your portfolio so to finish this up you just give it a title you can give it something flashy or catchy if you want or if you don't feel like thinking you can just give it something generic but give it a title so you can find it and then under description give yourself a little description of what it is once you've finished you want to select save as new document and once you do that your portfolio will be created and you'll be able to see your portfolio in the documents area so what I'm going to do now is switch to a portfolio that I've already created and then show you how to add work to your portfolio so now I'm back on the dashboard and I'll again go to documents but this time we won't go to new we'll scroll down until we find our portfolio and notice that type tells you what type of project you have so you scroll down and once you find portfolio you know that's your portfolio now I call mine just as an example I called it education portfolio and you can give it a better name than that so I'll click here for portfolio and this will pull up the portfolio now once your portfolio opens you'll see something like this you'll need an introduction area the good news here is that you already have an introduction because you created a wiki space and you have an audio that you can add or you could just copy and paste the text but notice here where you have name certification area so the same information that you put in your wiki space you could just copy and paste over um, to your live text introduction part of your portfolio you can also embed a video and this is just a video of me doing and in service on smart boards but let me scroll back up here to edit any of your any of the sections in your portfolio you will always find this button that says edit and if you click on this it'll take you to an edit window and you'll be able to add text and other things and we'll ignore this I'll keep last save version and now all of this text once you've finished you have some basic information that tells you not to use certain colors so for example you wouldn't want to use bright yellow on a white background because it's just hard to read so you want to make sure you have good contrast so this gives you some information about formatting now once you're finished you just need to highlight this stuff and then delete it but I wouldn't delete it until you have have done everything that you need to do and to add any text that you want all you need to do is to start typing here and of course you can change the font and things like that if you want to add a link you can look for the globe and if I click on this it wants to know the protocol you just leave that as HTTP and then you can put the URL here now what you should do if you copy a URL from somewhere you should get rid of either this HTTP or the one that's copied from your from your browser for example if my address looked like this and it won't let me type it in here now but if you if you pasted something here and you saw that HTTP 
you would need to get rid of it but this automatically deletes it because it already has the protocol selected for you I'll just click cancel here um, but, but that's how you add a URL if you wanted to and then that's all you need to do to really add different things so if I scroll down to the bottom you'll notice that you can insert images here you can attach different files if you need to and once you put the image in there's easy directions to follow so this is the image that you saw earlier the blue hills but if I clicked on edit here you could upload your picture and it would show a picture of you or whatever you put there and that's how you edit your portfolio on that page and make sure you do save changes and then save and finish and I'll just cancel here because I don't really need to save those changes the next thing we'll look at is how to add something to your portfolio so if you've taken the math class you may have already done this so I'll click on mathematics and then when this comes up you'll notice that you have a standard so this is the standard that you cover for your common assessments in LED 311 and then it tells you something about evidence you do a reflection and now for the evidence you click on edit and then you get that same window that we have and you can scroll down and you'll be able to attach any files you created so if you created a PowerPoint or a Word document or a video file or audio file or whatever evidence you have for that particular assignment you can add it there and again do save changes save and finish and then whatever you need to type you would put you would type that in but let me go back to mathematics one more time and then we can scroll down some more for your reflection it gives you sort of an outline of what to do so you answer what so what and now what so the what portion you follow these guidelines right here and you kind of summarize the artifact and it gives you a little example so what is reflecting on what it meant what the assignment what you learn that sort of thing and this is a little paragraph that shows you an example of what you would type under so what and then now what you start talking about what it means and how you would use it and how you were affected by it, those sorts of things so you do that reflection for all of your assignments now if you want to add for the technology standards which you don't have to do before you leave the class but you'll need to do this before you graduate so whenever you have some time you might want to start adding these things so when you do the MTTS 123 you can put that evidence in section 1 section 2 as well as section 3 but you also have some options because for information you have this communication right here and you created a website so you can add your website and this gives you again you do the what so what now what and you have a wiki space that you could put here and you can put the MTTS 123 right here and you can also use it in section 1 for number four assessment and administration you would use the assignment that you did with the spreadsheet and answering those questions and then you'll do number five in the field you will do number six somewhere else as well and then for professional growth you'll do MTTS 7 and again you just click on edit add your work and you do your reflection and then you're finished so you should work on this stuff every semester so that when you get to your internship year and you're in your seminar you won't have as much to do so that's how you create your portfolio and add content to your portfolio and if you have any questions please let me know